As Winnipeg hits the most dire stage on the province's pandemic situation, new rules laid out. Anyone who is symptomatic or has a household member who is symptomatic should all self-isolate pending results. Healthcare workers and emergency responders are exempt. But the province's top doctor says it's another essential step as COVID-19 spikes and ICUs near their capacity. This is a change that we need to make now uh, to uh, really stop the transmission uh, of this virus. Uh, so again, if uh, a family has a uh, child at home with symptoms of COVID, no one else goes to school, no one goes to work. Uh, until that test result is back. Dr. Rusin acknowledging it will lead to a lot of absences, but says it's going to be short term. If you do have to self-isolate, that means more than just not going to work. It means staying home altogether. Then within your household, the symptomatic person should be isolated from everyone else. So this can be difficult in a lot of situations. Um, we do have availability of alternate isolation accommodations. Uh, for people who are unable to self-isolate within their home. But that self-isolation means staying away from other, uh, other people in the household. Dr. Rusin says we're seeing a lot of people not self-isolate correctly and many household contacts getting sick. So the message is stay in your room. Use your own bathroom. And if you share a bathroom, make sure you're disinfecting it regularly. If you have a child, there should be only one caregiver designated to that child. In other words, take the sniffle seriously. These new rules coming as the province adds five to its death tally Monday. All women in Winnipeg, ranging in age from their 50s to their 90s. One is from the St. Boniface Hospital outbreak, while three are tied to personal care homes. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.